We had Brian Daniels and Chris Jericho in the main event, and uh, as we talked about earlier, this match was awesome. And uh, it, was, it was it was different from the pay per view match. It was tighter. It was uh, boom, boom, boom. Very physical. They chopped the shit out of each other. They're bleeding all over. Uh, lots of great counters and uh, technical wrestling. Code breaker into a, a the the by uh, the Busaiku knee, which was awesome. Crowd on their feet for that one. Chops, 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 chops. Finally, uh, Danielson flies outside and he uh, sells it like he injured his foot. And uh, because it's pro wrestling, when you injure your foot, you take off the boot that offers your foot stability. Well, Jericho took the boot off. Well, Danielson was taking no. Danielson was taking it off on the outside. Like he went down and the ref went to talk to him, and he's already unlacing his boot because in pro wrestling, for some reason, when you injure your foot, you take your boot off. And in, in fact, in real life, that is the, it's opposite, the opposite of what you would do in real life. Right. Because the idea is just that you want to you want to uh, quell the swelling by having a tight thing around your leg, which is notable because, um, you know, I remember. Uh, so this this spot was taken, you know, from the there was a match on Saturday Night's main event. I'm I'm going to get let me probably late 80s with Randy Savage and Bret Hart, uh, which is, in, you know, I was kind of buzzed this week about the Randy Savage Bret Hart match. So I guess that's why I was buzzed. Um because that's what they that's what this came from. So uh he goes to work on the leg and he's he's putting him in all these holds and and finally uh uh they're brawling and Danielson puts on the label lock and Jericho's fighting his way to the ropes. It looks like he's going to get there but he's too far away. And he finally taps. And so Brian Danielson wins. They show Daniel Garcia backstage, and he's he's happy about it because he keeps telling Jericho, You've got if you're gonna win, you gotta win clean. And here Brian Danielson won clean, and Brian Danielson's his idol, even though he's with Jericho. And then John Moxley came out afterwards and they shook hands and Blackpool Combat Club versus Blackpool Combat Club for the title next week. They're probably gonna have an incredible match because You don't say. Because the New York crowd is going to be really hot for this. Um, and uh, Well, the reality is that uh, Danielson, Jericho, and Moxley are all perfect opponents for each other. And every time they're in the ring, any combination, it's always great. So I have no doubt next week is going to be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, 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 you know, I mean, Danielson and Moxley already had one great match in the promotion and this is you know this should be this one could be a classic just because they they both are going to want to make it something because of the championship and to kind of um you know i mean get the championship up and running after the the the, the debacle of punk winning it and then you know never defending it and being stripped of it again so um and and uh you know new york is a place where the audience and they're not going to be sold out in new york um, or, or even close to sold out, but they're going to be, it will still be way over, you know, probably way over 11,000 people there. So, um, so it'll be a very good crowd for them. And, and maybe, you know, we'll see. Maybe loading up the show, we'll, we'll move some tickets in the last week. Um, cause it's weird because like, I mean, I mean, the main event is a big, big main event and they have a, a lot of championship matches and the acclaimed match. Um, you know, with the acclaim both being from the area and I think people suspecting a title change, um, that might be a fun thing to, to be at. So this, this may move. And then, you know, they're filled with other matches too. The Jer Jericho and Claudio, um, Action Bronson. I don't know what he's going to mean. I mean, it's like he is from, he is from Queens. Uh, but you know, I don't, I don't know, you know, as far as it's like he's, you know, he's a famous guy. But I don't know if he's famous. Like, he's not Shaq famous. You know what I mean? Like a guy where you know that he's going to move ratings. I don't know that he's that guy. I guess we'll find out. I don't think so, though. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, 
working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts, and also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com, 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.